Hey everybody and I welcome back to my channel Subtel Shave. Welcome back and let's get into another shaving video. So let's see what we're going to be using here today. Uh, first off, I want to say I hope you guys are well, hope you guys are doing safe, and I uh, hope you guys are having uh, great shaves out there. And I'm uh, hoping I'm going to have a great one here too because I'm using a soap today. If you guys can already talk by the intro uh, uh, picture there. I'm using Grace by Talbot Shaving. This is a soap that was created by uh, or created for uh, Chad Irish's wife uh, to commemorate uh, her, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, for beating cancer. Uh, I don't know much about it, uh, so please forgive me. I am uh, using this. This was a, here's the ingredient list here. Um, there's the ingredient list there. Um, I'm using this soap because this was um, one of the, uh, a few of the soaps that were sent over as a gift. And uh, man, the scent smells amazing. <sighs> really, really awesome. So if I can remember to uh, look up the information about this, I really don't look up information, guys. I just use uh, the props for what they are. Um, and uh, so please forgive me. Uh, I know a lot of you guys really go into depth of... Uh, uh, all the information and the story behind it. But for me, I just like using the props for what they are. And the scent smells amazing. I, 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 I'll try to look up the information on what the uh, scent note is based off of. I know it's, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's based off of, of um, her favorite uh, perfume that she's like. Or she likes wearing, not used to, still likes wearing. And uh, so uh, with that, uh, I don't have a matching, uh, uh, anything that matches the scent. So uh, a few of my buddies and I were, were going over what we can use, what I can try to uh, um, complement the scent. And uh, something that came up, we, we gathered some stuff up together. And uh, using these uh, two here are going to have some of the scent notes that are in the soap. And actually, when you smell them back to back like this, they do uh, uh, complement the scent very, very well. So I'm uh, going to be using uh, Floyd Aftershave, uh, the Genuine, and um, Fine's uh, Platinum Aftershave Balm. And then uh, my brush of choice will be my uh, west coast shaving uh badger that's soaking here in some warm water and then i am going to be using that i uh got a little barbicide uh if you can see the blue water dripping out there it's been soaking in some barbicide just up until the top here for a little bit and this is the uh vintage sorry this is the vintage, I can't see, the vintage uh, Schick injector that was on loan to me from our brother, um, uh, Cap7597, uh, Ronnie McAlpin. He's also known as um, Cap7597 on YouTube. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock that blade out here. Give it a rinse. It has been sitting in there for about, uh, I don't know, about uh, three minutes or so. Um, but anyway, it's going to knock that old blade out and put in one of the new blades. So I have um, never <laughs> loaded one of these before. So this will be my first time trying this, guys. So um, give me a minute here and put in the key. There you have it. And then slide it back, cock back the blade. And then try to do this on camera like this, maybe try. I'm already showing you guys something you guys have already seen before. So push out the other blade. It's going to pop it out. So um, I just want to be very careful. 
and there you go that was the old blade then you take out the key and there is a new blade inserted <clears throat> and give me a sec let me carefully pull this blade out of the sink and give me a sec set it off to the side here so it can dry and then I'll put it into the blade bank all right so just for safety measures I will put it back in the um, barbicide and let me go ahead and get a beer started here gonna go in some whole gardens some Belgian wheat beer pour into my whole gardens glass so if you guys have not tried this beer absolutely delicious all right so let's get this started here dry puck and this brush carries a ton of water So I just got back home from over the road and what a stressful, stressful um, trip this was. I had so many things happen while I was on the road, just dying to get home. Yeah, so I don't know much about the scent. For me, I don't know if it's because I, I enjoy the scent so much, but I also can uh, see that this could possibly be a unisex uh, type of scent. see how we do with that um i got out the shower i don't know about two hours ago and uh my whiskers are probably all dried up by now not probably are <laughs> i don't know why i said probably but yeah my whiskers are dried up by now so I'm gonna work a little bit into the beard just so I can get some moisture in there and let's get some beer down the hatchet This uh, brush is such a big ass knot. Maybe I should have loaded a little bit more. So, Cap, if you're watching this. Um, or when you get to watch this, 
forgive me for barely getting uh, these razors out uh, on camera. But uh, you already know, brother, I've been going through a lot. Working a lot. And um, yeah, so that's why. So hope you're patient with me, brother. I will try to get these razors knocked out as soon as possible and get them back out to you. First pass of the drain, let's see how we do. No razors like this, I'm not used to. I'm not used to the sh to the uh, shaving angle. It took me a little bit to get used to my uh, supply razor. I've got um, I've got three days of growth on the face. On the first initial passes, the razor is very smooth. The um, blade is extremely sharp. I'm extremely shaky right now, man. The razor's got some nice feedback. Another one, cheers. <sighs> Second pass, cross screen.
The razor is extremely light. And that's giving me a little bit of a problem because uh, I want to press down a little bit more because it's so light. And then a part of me doesn't want to add any pressure and it doesn't, I can feel that it's not cutting as, as well. So you gotta find that middle of the ground pressure. Oh, wow, man. So far, so good. What an awesome razor. Remembering that angle is a tough part. Again, because it's not something I'm used to. Pass against the green. I don't, I don't know much about the razor. And I'll try to remember to give you guys some info on it. Um, but the one who would know best would be uh, Cap himself.
this racer is very audible. My whiskers are putting up a fight right now. Wow. I doubt there's gonna be much in that knot, but we'll see. Not bad, eh? Okay, guys. When the McDaniel passes off camera, I'll be back. All right, guys, let's get in with the Allen stick. <sighs> good shave, good, good shave. All right, guys, I'm going to be back. All right, guys. Awesome shave, smooth shave. Now let's get in with the Floyd. <clears throat> All right. Absolutely love this scent, but because I've got so many items in the den, it's hard to put all the stuff into rotation frequently. It's got a nice citrus powdery scent to it. Really, really awesome. So now let's see how this pairs up. And, um, out of the bottles together, they smell like they're gonna do quite well. So I'm hoping the scents are gonna mix nice together. I'm gonna throw a little bit, a little extra on top here of the Floyd. Yeah, I can see how the scents could um, pair really nice with each other along with that soap. Actually, <laughs> that's so damn good that I can't even smell the soap. Um, that's same because the scents are pretty pretty close together. Well, that's uh, that's pretty good, pretty pretty good. Really dig that. <sighs> so thank you, Tony. That was a good um, a good choice, good uh, good choice to pick up uh, items.
All right. So what did we use today? We used Grace by Talbot Shaving. Awesome, awesome soap. This is the soap looks like there, all rinsed out. <clears throat> we went in with our uh, big mushroom cloud. Um, you can see the size of that thing. Um, Badger by uh, West Coast Shaving. The foam horn. Razor of choice was this Chic injector razor that was sent on loan to me from my brother Rodney McAlpin uh, from his YouTube channel um, Cap7597 and I am trying to see if I can see a date code or something on here. It's very, very hard to tell. Um, let me see. I know if I, I I see the date. I see codes. I see the I see numbers on there, but I can't really tell what they are because it's very hard to see. Yeah, it's very hard to see. So I'll do my best to either take a picture with with an app that I have outside, and if not, I'll try to uh, put some numbers down. But awesome, awesome razor. Um, the blades of choice were the uh, personas that come with the uh, supply razor, really good blades. Um, and then a mixture of scents to complement the soap. Really, really awesome combination here that complement that soap very, very well. The uh, fine balm, uh, aftershave balm, and the Floyd, uh, the genuine uh, aftershave splash. That is my shave, guys. I don't think I've missed anything. Had a fantastic shave. Really, really awesome. If you guys enjoy this shave, if you guys like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe as always. I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe for later, guys.